Distortions Unlimited, built to the last. I'm Mike Glover with Distortions Unlimited. Basically gonna show you a little bit of a breakdown of our motors and what we put inside our Frightronics. Do a little bit of troubleshooting in case you do have an issue. All of our structures are built with steel, welded, and then we put the latex and foam over the top of them. When you're setting up the product for the first time especially, take a good look at the hair and the clothes on it. Make sure that they're not around the motor because the hair and the clothes, will, as this thing comes around, it will get caught up in here and it will stop everything. Now it's not the end of the world if it stops everything. Unplug it, you get to dig the hair and the clothes out. Nine times out of 10, didn't hurt anything. You just go on about your business. First off, we use pretty much all the same style motors. One of the questions I always ask is, how come we have so many extra wires? Typically we run two wires. The other wires are for different speeds or for a pulsing action or something like that. So that's why you'll see the wires not being, all the wires not being used. Typically we stay away from that. Some of the simple little things when people get them and they, I plugged it in, it's not working. Well, power supplies, you go to plug them in, it feels like it's plugged in, but it's just touching there. Sometimes you have to pull them out, put them back in. And push, make sure it's pushed in there nice and tight. Another little tidbit on power supply, there's a green light on there. Now, that green light says we have power to the power supply. If for some reason the power supply is malfunctioning or something, it may not be giving us the amperage it takes to move our windshield wiper motor. But that's a first check. See if we have power to the power supply. And then we kind of come down through the wires here. We just make sure the wires are connected nice and tight. The other thing, during shipping, and I can't explain it, but if you look on this motor, you'll see the little rivet here. There's a spring under that that holds a brush that actually makes the motor turn. During shipping, for some reason, once in a while, then we'll get turned sideways or something. Just take a hammer, just barely tap that, just a couple taps. Usually if it's out of alignment, it'll start running right away. And then we come down to our linkage. We run two styles of linkage. This particular one comes apart. So if it's on there, you get clothes caught up in there. You can pull that little spring back and pull that little knob out. And then you can clean this, stuff. this particular linkage is a solid linkage. If for some reason you was to get clothes wrapped up or something, you're going to have to take the nuts off and then clean the uh, linkage out. This particular style has a cover plate on it. So if by chance you did get hair or clothes down in there that tied up, first thing you're going to want to do is pull this nut off of the back back here and get this body to and that nut in there is a half inch wrench so you expose it like that so if by chance 
the nut come loose, you kind of got to flop it around here. And then you can reach down inside there and tighten that nut up. One other issue that is once in a while this little nut on the linkage there will loosen up. But you don't catch that it's loose. And this one is setting so it's going to take just a little bit. but. So it quit moving. It's because that little nut loosened up a little bit. Just need to retighten it. A lot of the product we put out, I'll go ahead and spot weld that nut so it doesn't loosen up. For the most part, there's really not a whole lot of issues with any of this. It's just little things once in a while that come up, but overall, you very seldom see any issues. It's take it out of the box and plug it in and away it goes.